Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a marketing strategy for a small business. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Rita. I am a digital marketing expert and I help business owners to create a marketing strategy and to help them with their advertising. I've been working in this industry for about 11 years now, so I know a thing or two about marketing. Where do we start with our marketing strategy? First thing that I would like you to do as a business owner is to take a piece of paper or open a document and write your goals. If you are a small business, you're probably going to sell a product or a service. As a product, there can be different products, but I would refer it as a product. So it's a product-based business or a service-based business. For your product goals, you can list to sell 10 products per month. That's going to be your starting goal. As for service-based business, you're going to list amount of money that you want to make from your business at the first month. Since you're just a starting business, if you're a starting business, you're going to list a minimum amount of products or a minimum sum. For example, a thousand dollars that you want to generate from your business. That's going to be your goal. That's the first thing you need to do as a business owner. When you have your goals set up, then you can know if your marketing was successful, if you reached your goals, or you need to improve something in order to actually reach your goals. That's a really crucial thing for your marketing strategy. Then the second thing that you need is to define your audiences. I know that in some cases it's possible that everyone is your audience, literally. Everyone can buy your product and use it. But when you're just starting, it's impossible to reach everyone anywhere at any given moment. That's why you need to define your audiences properly. You need to choose a location. Either it's a country or a state or a specific area in the country. Then you need to define if you want to target men or women and what is their age. Then you did that, you can move on to their interests and their behavior. If they need to use your product, then what other products are they going to use? What other interests do they have? If they're using your service, what other services they require? What is their behavior? How do they require your product? Are they doing it at home, at work, on their way to work? Do they travel often? You need to understand who is your ideal customer profile. And it doesn't mean that this is really who your customer is going to be. No, but you need to start somewhere. Once you defined that profile, you can start with your advertising to that specific customer. And you're going to see how they engage with your ads. If everything is going good, they are going to purchase from you. If not, you will be able to understand what exactly should you change. If you're targeting females, maybe you need to try males because they convert better and so on. But you need to choose, first of all, your specific customer profile. Then the last thing that you need to choose is your advertising platform. If it's going to be a social media or a search engine. Usually, I recommend to start with search engines like Google, and that's the main one I recommend, because it's a full advertising type. It means that audiences are already searching for your products or your services, and you can simply pull them over to you. And it works only if you already have a website or a landing page. But sometimes, if you're just starting, you don't really have a website, or you are in the middle of creating it. And that's when you need to choose a social media instead to start promoting your product or services. Now, about the social media platform, there are so many of them and they're constantly changing and adding new ones and you simply don't know where to start. Well, 
it's really simple. If you are a small business, you don't have to be on every single platform. You need to start with one. Choose one single platform. And how do you do that? Look at each platform and see what kind of content they are using. For example, TikTok is a video-based platform and YouTube as well. Do you have an ability to create a good quality video for YouTube? Or do you want to record yourself on your mobile for TikTok? If you don't want to record yourself or you don't want to upload videos, then you need to choose image-based platform. Let's pick up Instagram, for example. Let me show you how the basic marketing plan is going to look like. This is a marketing plan for financial services. And we are making a plan for Facebook advertising. In this case, I am using Facebook because 69% of adults in the US are using Facebook, 81% of the users are on their mobile phones, and because majority of Facebook users or meta users to date are between ages 25 to 35. Now, we have three different audience type. This is what customer has defined. First audience is whoever wishes to retire early, then young moms, busy people with good income is the last one. People who want to retire early, the gender that we are going to target is all age between 25 to 45 and their interests, they have stock investments, never used a financial advisor before probably like to travel, do not like their job. That's our definition of the first audience. And when I look for this kind of people on Facebook, I can see that in the United States of America, there is 4.5 potential customers. Then for the second profile for young moms, gender is obviously women, ages between 20 to 40, Children between, well, just four and 10 years old, never used financial advisor before, good family income. As for the last audience, it's busy people with good income. They probably work as lawyers, engineers, doctors, or medical workers. Age between 25 to 45, probably men never used a financial advisor before, would like to organize their finance, and there are 1.4 million people with these criteria. The copy should be separate for three different audience types. For moms, it's obviously going to be super different from busy people who work as lawyers or doctors, so I need to be prepared ahead. And once I have all this, I can launch my campaign on Facebook. This is my simple step to create a marketing strategy. I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And I see you in the next one. Goodbye.